How's it going, Apex Community? Welcome into another video. It's another week, another solo trial. Um, what is it now? Is this week six? I think this is week six. I'm gonna have to find out before I put a thumbnail up. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Um, good to see some really good times on the board again. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's been pretty fun actually. The start of the season, it's getting some old tracks back, maybe um, some ones that we haven't flown in a little while. Uh, and it's always cool to. So it's cool to kind of revisit some older tracks in the game. Um, I mean, these ones aren't overly old, but um, they're not necessarily the newest ones ever. Prop Town trying to park is this week's uh, solo trials track. So let's let's get into it. Um, it's tough. It's a difficult track. They're all relatively difficult, um, as, as they should be, um, for a, a competitive sort of uh, competitive thing. This one's maybe not the most difficult, but there's some sections of it that you will naturally get hung up on. So, first things first. I mean, that's that's a very easy, easy first gate, right? This bit is deceptively difficult because you're coming over here and you want to wall ride it. So, remember that rainbow flip that we're always talking about? Um, my sort of adopted name for that move. That's what this is. It's just a big old rainbow flip over the top. And uh, have faith in the racing line. Of course, that's that's going to lead you where you need to go. Try and take it relatively tight to that first bollard if you can. Um, some of the faster guys are getting really close to these um, um, these kind of metal bars that kind of sort of jut out there. Part of me wondered whether at one point if I could actually go underneath these and through, but I think that's just too much. Um, and I certainly see none of the faster guys are doing that anyway. So. Try and cut it relatively close to that first one if you can. Um, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Why do I always do this? <laughs> we always have like silly little crashes, right? Relatively, I mean, you could take a kind of a wide-ish arc because you need to really get the power on to come through here. And you're going to pre-turn that as you come through. One thing to look out for as you're coming through here is prop wash. Um, and you'll notice it. It's kind of like a little judder that you'll get um, as you're going full throttle. Um, we we might see it um, a little bit later if I if I try and give you guys a fast lap um, as you kind of drop down into the the wash of your own props there you kind of get a bit of a judder and it takes a little time off so if you're doing this correctly you won't see that um, if you do see that maybe just think about sort of trying to smooth your turns out a little bit um, remember the the more sort of violent the maneuvers you sort of pull um, the more likely you are to um, experience that prop wash. You will know it when you see it. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so smooth it out. Um, Pre-turning that, and you want to kind of drop to the side, uh, to the left-hand side of this pylon. I know that the um, the racing line tells you to go through that first bit. I mean, you can. Um, it's very tight to do that, and it puts you on a very tight line up the next section. So if you can drop through here and sneak through this side, it just kind of opens it up and smooths it out a little bit. Um, <laughs> don't hit things. I say that every week as well. Um, coming up here, you don't need to be too close. Um, it's the main th the main thing I'd sort of point out. Some people will come up it um, very straight and flat. Um, I've certainly seen uh, replays already of some guys this week who come up over the top and sort of rainbow flip over the top of this here as well, um, mainly so that you can see where the track sort of carries on. The way I learned to do this um, was the way that a lot of guys were doing it initially. So again, you don't want to be too close as you're coming out of there. Um, so you kind of you'll shoot out of here, and you can just power it on up. Um, the main thing that you want to get close to is probably, I would say, this first ledge here, this first little lip. Um, well, the first one of the top two. So that's the first lip. Here's the first one of the top lot of the, of the top two. Is this confusing? This should be. <laughs> certainly sounds confusing in my head. So let's try that again. So we, we drop through here. Don't take it too tight because you want a lot of forward momentum. Um, and you want to really kiss this top lip here. Oh, this is an 18, rate, <laughs> 18 plus rated video. Um, if you come up too tight, it's not going to leave you enough space to front flip your well, sort of half front flip your way over that next section. Um, just because it's too sharp of a move. So if you're coming up and you've got a bit of space, you can really clip those as you come over the top. It's it's just a much smoother experience. And 
again it's kind of the keyword for a lot of a lot of sim racing really is smooth so not too tight over the top clip those two and then pull up this bit pretty simple over the top here another kind of another rainbow flip you kind of you can correct as you're coming over there or oh, this <laughs> this is a bad section to be trying to go slow in um so yeah as as you come underneath this bit and you're pulling up you want a rainbow flip over the top and then you can kind of head backwards to to slow yourself down that was a this is going to be really really terrible so i apologize for the abundance of crashing um which is inevitably going to follow so again as you come over the top of this section here um yeah don't be afraid to kind of back it in just a little just to kind of push yourself away from that wall give yourself a little more space um and i suppose this is kind of quite a good drill that you can run really um it's literally just around this section here so over the top of the car and back through here over the top flicking it back I and mean, you don't have to go around that first pillar you can go around the second one if you want um <laughs> but you can see it you, you don't want too much throttle as you're kind of alongside the wall because remember your camera angle is not really conducive to going straight down um, it's always going to pull you um, upwards ever so slightly but I always flick it back just a little um, and that just gives me a little more space um, in which to work as we come down here this next section now this is probably one of the best tips for this track that I can give you don't go underneath this bridge go through the middle um, you can see the racing line here takes you underneath and up and over um, the fastest way though is in fact uh, as you come through here shoot through this gap in the middle here there's no gates um, so it doesn't matter what what way you take it that is just a generally um, faster line through there so you're coming through here and as soon as you come out of here immediately up and you kind of wall ride it at like a 45 degree angle over the top and then again back yourself in just to shave a little bit of momentum off and straighten yourself up as you come back down so <laughs> wow what way is up i don't know so if come over there just a little blip there don't be afraid to come off of the throttle i mean it's it's extremely tough to go full throttle the whole way through this section so don't be afraid to correct um and that'll that'll save you an awful lot of, uh, of frustration as we go because this is one spot where you're gonna you will crash a lot here um, because you're going down at full throttle towards the ground and trying to pull up at the last minute which is great but then making it through these next two I mean they're real head choppers um, so you you could end up pretty close um, you're gonna be like ducking <laughs> I know I do an awful lot um <laughs> it's one thing actually watching myself back as i fly these things is uh laughing at the kind of little head movements that i'm doing all the time um, this this bit here is easy enough um full throttle just remember as you're coming through here um oh god as you're coming through um through this tunnel stay on the right hand side just to open this out and as soon as you see the gap go for it um, you can kind of swoop around there. You don't really have to pre-turn it. Um, it's not that um, important of a corner to, to be pre-turning. And yeah, that is a uh, that is a lap of Prop Town trying to park. Um, so I'll try and give you a <laughs> I'll try and give you a relatively uh, competitive lap right now, um, and then we'll watch back my fastest so far, which is. Thankfully now a sub 50 second lap. Oh man, get in the gate. <laughs> a little front flip. Yeah, cool. Right, let's go. <laughs> we didn't even register that lap. That was terrible. So straight enough. Easy, easy, easy. A little kind of semi rainbow flick. Pulling it back. Head chopper. There. Oh, not really a head chopper, but a bit of a leap of faith really, I guess, through those. Tough section. Oh, eee, touch the wall. <laughs> oh man. 
Where are we even going? I don't know. So, I mean, clearly that was a that would have been an aborted lap. <laughs> but um, we'll carry on. Just because it's good fun. Again, this is a track that really. Um, <laughs> it really will become a, a flowy track for you. Um, the more you, the more you fly it. Um, I don't know what happened there. The more you fly it, the um, the better your flow will become. And I mean, you can you can pick it up more on some tracks than you do on others. You can see we're a bit too close there. Cost us a little time. See, it came off the throttle a little bit there, but it's not cost me a huge amount of time. I mean, obviously, if you're pushing for, like, absolute top leaderboard times, then you will um, you will want to be full throttle the whole way through there. I can't even remember if I've managed to make it full throttle through there yet today. Um, it is only, like, Monday evening. So, you can see there, that's a good example of just too much, too much throttle and not keeping the nose in check enough. You do, you do get that bounce. Um, but that's just the kind of floaty sort of nature of the the big sort of six inch quads. I don't know, DCL, are they six inch or seven inch? I know the the, the frames we use are seven inch, props are six inch props. <laughs> I've totally missed the finish gate. I don't know. I, um, is it a six inch or seven inch? I don't know. I've got one over there, but yeah, oh well. Big quads, that's what they are, big quads. <laughs> Alright, let's um let's spectate. What do we got here? FPV. So this was my fastest lap so far today. You can see cutting it kind of tight on the left there. Didn't really pre-turn that, I don't think, by the looks of it. That kind of leap of faith, that drop down. Oh no, wait. Am I spectating? I am spectating the lap that I just did. I don't want to do that. I want to spectate my personal best. Where's my personal best? Here we go. Let's Let's do that. Come on, Shane, get with the program. Okay. So we cut that tight. Kind of pre-turned that. Smooth through there. Dipping just underneath. That kind of inverted backwards rainbow flip thing. Again there, you see the arc as we come down. Just kind of keeps it fluid, but also maintains that speed. I think, if I remember rightly, there you go, there was a pre-turn. Um, second time through on that drop, I think we do go full throttle. You can't tell from the replays because it doesn't give you the stick overlays, but I'm pretty sure this one was. Just kept it pinned. Watch for the gap to open out. Then it's a straight old drag into the finish gate. And there you go, that was a 40, 49 something, I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> There you go. That was that. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's a good track. It's a good fun, good fun track. Very technical. Um, again, slightly different sort of techniques this week, I think, to, to some of the ones of previous weeks. But yeah, it's good fun and it's a flowy track. So if you're if you're looking to to learn the ropes, this one is a very very good track to to really push yourself on um, and get fast on because it's one of the ones that came in sort of late on in the day. Um, wasn't wasn't one of the original DCL the game tracks. It's one of the ones that obviously the guys have been working on as they were working on the the actual DCL season. Um, so yeah, it's it obviously didn't make the cut for the actual season, but clearly there's some elements in there that we do see in the actual um, DCL races, uh, the virtual ones. So yeah, good track. Really enjoy this one. Um, good luck out there. Good luck with your times. <laughs> Shreds I think has already beaten me on this track. Um, who else? Braverick, another alpha prop buddy, getting there, man. He's at 50.1, so I'm going to have to watch my back. And pressure, it's going to be another week, probably, of trading times. I imagine you're probably way faster than me already on this one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, look, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was good fun. I hope it taught you something. I hope it was useful. And, um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll uh, we'll have the, the teams track up pretty soon as well, I imagine. So I guess there's only one thing left to say, that's fly safe.
fly fast, fly apex. <laughs> Catch you guys in the next one. See ya.